Hey, Pastor, my name is Ryan. I'm here on the team at Leaders.Church. I'm a ministry major at North Central University, and uh, today we want to bring you a video on how to use the platform called Zoom. Now, Zoom is a great platform for pastors to utilize as they try to do video meetings. Because, you know, sometimes you can't meet in the same room. Sometimes you're in different buildings. And video meetings are very necessary. And we've found that Zoom is an amazing platform for you to use as you have this issue or have this problem. And so, using Zoom, it's super easy to use. And on the website called zoom.us, that's the URL, zoom.us, uh, this is their opening page, and uh, when you're scrolling through, there's a lot of specific tutorials. So they'll tell you how to do meetings, they'll tell you how to do video webinars, they'll show you how to set up conference rooms, a lot of specific things that you could utilize um, for your team. But this video, we want to focus on the basics of Zoom, how to set up a meeting, how to set up an account, and get you on your way. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to sign up. That's up at the top right hand corner of the screen. You're just going to hit the sign up. It's free button. All you got to do is type in your password right here. You're going to hit sign up and it'll ask you for a password. You're going to create your password. And then once you have that done, you're going to have your own free Zoom account. And this is totally free for the basic plan. You don't have to pay anything. Your church isn't going to have to pull from budget or anything like that. And then um, once you do this, the next step is you're going to want to go up to this top right hand corner and hit resources. Once you do that, you're going to hit download Zoom client right here. Download Zoom client. That's going to take you to this screen. And so you have the download center. And you're going to have all of these different options for what you can download, apps, certain things you can download that will help you use Zoom. We only want one of these right now. The one that we want is called Zoom client for meetings. That's the one we want to download. So you're going to hit download under the Zoom Client for Meetings button. And once you do that, it's going to install a, a Zoom app on your laptop or computer that you're using. And what that's going to look like is right here. This is what the app itself is going to look like. So you've got your home button, you've got your chat button, you've got your meetings, your contacts. This is a very simple platform. We got New meeting, join, schedule, share screen. So this is exactly what your, your screen should look like. Once you've downloaded the app from the website, like we just walked through, you're going to click on that app, and this is the screen that you will be brought to. And so now we want to start a meeting. So the easiest way to do that is first you're going to go to your meetings tab right up here. And once you do that, when you start a meeting, the easiest way to get people into the meeting is by using this thing called my personal meeting ID. And so this is my personal meeting ID right now, um, the 823-760-5296. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to share that number with whoever you want to join your Zoom call. And all that they're going to have to do is they're going to be looking at this exact same screen or they can join from the website and they're going to hit join. And all they have to do is copy that number straight into this box. They're going to hit join. They can decide whether they want to connect with audio or connect with video or both. They're going to hit join and you will be in the meeting together. Now to start your own meeting, you're going to hit the new meeting button. And what that does is you can see I'm in the meeting right now. And so I'm the only one in here right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that personal meeting ID and we're going to send it to whoever we want to be in the meeting. So in this case, we have a team member who's going to pretend to be one of our volunteers or church members or whatever he wants to be. And we're going to see if he can join right now. And as we do this, we're going to look at a few key features on what um, you can do within the meeting. So there's a lot of features like sharing the screens. You can chat back and forth. You can actually record the meeting um, as, you're, as you're meeting. You can manage the participants, invite certain people. Um, and we'll walk through all of that. And we're going to see if he can join real quick. Here he is. Here he is. Goodness. Am I with Pastor, Pastor Ryan right now? You are. You're with Pastor Ryan. <laughs> and so, yeah, we just want to walk through a few different uh, key features of Zoom right now. And so the one key feature that most people are going to be using other than just the face-to-face -face contact is the share screen feature. And how to do yeah. that is you just walk down here to the bottom of the screen. There's a green button called share screen uh, in the middle of the screen. You're going to hit that. 
Once you hit that, it brings up a menu of several different uh, windows that you have open. So right now you can see that we have this window open, obviously just the video chat. But then if you go to Google Chrome, I have this uh, website that we were looking at open. And so the, the Zoom website. So if we hit share on that, he can now see everything that's on my screen. So he's I do. seeing me scroll. I do. Yes, he's seeing me scroll through Zoom. We can go to the leaders.church website. I can switch tabs back and forth. He can see everything I'm highlighting, everything I'm looking at. And so that's beneficial for meetings online. And so then when you're done, you can just hit stop share. It'll be at the top right corner. And a few other key features real quick. You can chat back and forth. Um, and so you'll do that by hitting this chat button down at the bottom next to the share screen. You'll hit chat and right here, you'll be able to hit type, uh, type message here and type whatever you want. So it'll say hello. And then he'll get the meeting or he'll get the message. Everyone else in the meeting will get the message. Um, and that's beneficial for sending pictures back and forth, sending uh, chats back and forth. Maybe there's a memo within the meeting that you want them to remember. You can hit that chat button and they'll be in there and they can see that as you go through your meeting. One last feature, you can hit this record button down next to the chat button and that will actually record your video meeting in its entirety until you hit stop recording, which is actually the same button, same functionality. So you can pause and stop the recording down here with this button. And so right now we're recording and then if I hit stop, that will save the video instantly. Once the, the meeting is over, it'll come up with a file and say, here's your video and it'll be ready and you can save that to wherever you want on your computer. Now, if I wanted to invite anybody else to this meeting, I could go hit invite real quick. I could copy the URL right here and all I would have to do is text or email that URL to anybody that I want to invite and then when you have your people in the meeting and you're done, you don't want anyone else to join, you can hit manage participants down here. It'll bring up this menu on the side. You hit more and then all you have to do is scroll down to lock meeting. Once you hit that lock meeting button, no one else is going to be able to join. And you can lock and unlock it the same way, same button, if you want more people to join or less people to join, uh, whatever you want to do. So that's our meeting. Hey, Ryan. Did you tell people but that are non-techie what a URL is? Yes, the URL. So what that's going to be is it's going to be like a link to a website. And all that is is if you hit that button, it's going to actually copy it to, to your computer. And all you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to a text box, like as an email or a text. You're going to hit paste, and that will be right there. And all you got to do is hit send. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Anything Apparently I'm cover? still sharing your screen, am I? Uh, you're not right now. Okay, there you go. Sounds good. Anything else you need for me? Nope, we're good. And when you're done with the meeting, you're going to hit this end meeting button down at the bottom. And you want to make sure you hit end meeting for all. Otherwise, people are still going to be in the meeting and they're still going to be talking and you're going to be gone. So you want to hit end meeting for all. We're going to do that right now. See you later. Cool. See ya. And that's Zoom. So now we can see that our converting meeting recording, that's the recording that we did. And we can see that we have an MP3 and an MP4. And we can um, save that to wherever we want. So the MP4 is the video right here. And the MP3 is just audio. So we can save that wherever we want, send it to people and everything. And so that's the basics of Zoom. And I hope this helped you.